स्टार्ट ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट चेंज इज द लॉन्ग टर्म शिफ्ट इन वेदर पैटर्न्स ग्लोबली इट इज अ होलिस्टिक कॉन्सेप्ट विच रेफर्स टू द चेंजेस इन अ रीजन्स ओवरऑल वेदर पैटर्न्स इंक्लूडिंग परसेप्शन एंड टेम्परेचर कुड एंड क्लाउड ओवर and cloud cover and other such conditions which prevail for a longer period of time the concept emphasizes on the change in earth's average temperature weather includes the short term changes witnessed in a region's temperature humidity clouds and precipitation etc the weather may vary from one day to another and morning to evening however the climate is the weather condition prevailing over an area for a longer period of time anything that has an impact on the amount of energy being absorbed and radiated from the sun is a contributor to the global climate change these changes can have short term or long term impacts one such process is the greenhouse effect which leads to global warming the human activities have led to the rise in the greenhouse gases which have resulted in global warming the greenhouse gases include the carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide and fluoride gases the greenhouse gases have the potential to trap the heat in the atmosphere and keep the earth warm they capture the infrared radiations released by the surface of earth and make the atmosphere warmer the impact of the greenhouse gases is circulated through the water vapor in our atmosphere affect states that without the greenhouse gases the earth world and would have been a frozen planet so the concern is not the presence of greenhouse gases but the human activities which are contributing to the rise of the same the burning of fossil fuels in the largest source of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide besides deforestation emissions from the vehicles and industrial effluents are some of the causes of the rising greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and color chlorofluorocarbons and also lead to the ozone layer depletion apart from the greenhouse effect there are some natural causes that contributes to the global climate change the changes in the internal climate system of the earth may lead to the changes in the global climate the fluctuations such as ei nino and la nina lead to the interaction between the oceans and the atmosphere resulting in the variation of global temperature such variations last for several years a small change in the earth's orbit can have a direct impact on the amount of sunlight received by a region and the distribution of the seasons across the planet besides the sun there are other sources of energy on the earth the geothermal energy produced due to the heat and decay of radioactive compounds below the surface of earth 
is also one of the contributing factor to the rising temperatures volcanic eruptions also lead to the changes in the earth's climate over the years the climate of the earth has changed considerably the earth is warming the small changes in the average temperature of the planet can lead to dangerous shifts in climate and weather this is quite evident from the fact that there have been significant changes in the patterns of rainfall at certain places these have resulted in droughts floods or intense rains the oceans are warming and becoming more acidic the glaciers are melting leading to the rise in the sea levels the global climate change has led to the variations in the seasons which have further led to the changes in the behavior of different species if not checked timely global climate change may lead to various problems few of which include spread of vector borne disease due to increase in weather events such as hurricanes tornadoes heavy rainfall and heat waves an imbalance in the natural ecosystem expansion of subtropical deserts acidification of the oceans affect on the basic necessities such as water supplies electricity and agriculture all these hint towards a dire need of the urgent steps to be taken in order to reduce the greenhouse effect people can make a difference by changing their everyday habits and lifestyle the problem of global warming can be controlled by minimizing the emission of greenhouse gases into the environment the practice of deforestation needs to be strongly discouraged instead the focus should be on the plantation of more trees and plants the trees and plants absorb the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere the educational institutions and ngos can create awareness among the children and people regarding the problem of global climate change the more is the awareness the more it will be helpful in solving the problems related to climate change our government has a very important role to play in rectifying the problem the governments can provide special concessions and rebates on the use of clean fuels the focus of the countries should be to reduce their carbon footprints that is the amount of carbon dioxide released in the atmosphere the recently released ranking of countries by climate change performance index points towards the position of different countries regarding their efforts towards dealing with the global climate change first three spots were left vacant therefore france leads the list followed by sweden and uk india was ranked 20th among the 58th countries the climate change division of ministry of environment forest and climate change is coordinating the national action plan on climate change to tackle the global issue on a national level it has undertaken many new efforts under the national action plan which work around achieving eight missions namely national solar mission national mission for enhanced energy efficiency national mission on sustainable development national water mission national mission for sustaining the himalayan ecosystem national mission for a green india 
नेशनल मिशन फॉर सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर एंड नेशनल मिशन ऑन स्ट्रेटेजिक नॉलेज फॉर क्लाइमेट चेंज द नेशन एक्शन प्लान ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज पुल्स टुगेदर ऑल द मिशन बंडल्ड विद इफेक्टिव इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड एडिशनल एफर्ट्स टू रिड्यूस द स्ट्रेस ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज स्टॉप